Hey mom, Alexa's here. Hi Mrs. R, thank you so much for letting me stay at your house tonight. Of course Alexa, you're always a pleasure. Thank you, and my mom says hi and wishes you the best. Aw, tell her we miss her. Can we go now? Your house looks beautiful by the way. <sighs> I'm sweating. Look what I brought. Nice. Girls, your father and I are going out to eat. Don't forget your dinner's in the oven. Okay, bye. Enjoy your dinner. Okay, mom. Good night. Oh, and I brought this. Oh my god. But mom, everybody else's parents said they could go. Well, I'm not those other kids' parents. I'm only concerned with what you do, and you're not going. That's not fair. I cannot believe you got a C in all of your classes. This is unbelievable. Why are you the only one that can't put in the effort? I bet all your friends are passing. I thought you didn't care about what my friends did. Do not give me a smart tone right now. Hey! Keep it down! I can hear your music and typing in the other room! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was that loud. Gosh, you kids with your music and disrespect. Hey, mom. This dang thing just never works. Mom, can you even hear me? Anywhere along this 60 years, very but you could hear me typing from eight rooms away. As well at 1300 degrees, so uh, again, <laughs> what? Just forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Oh, do I hear movement? Good morning. Morning? It's the afternoon. I've been up for eight hours. Oh, sorry. I slept in late. I was up doing homework all night. You know, since you spend most of your day sleeping, your father and I feel like we never see you anymore. And how come you never go see your friend Bailey anymore? She was such a sweet girl and you guys always got along. I don't know, mom. We're just not friends anymore. Who cares? And your room is absolutely disgusting. Every time I walk down that hallway, it smells like skunk. Then don't come down the hallway. And what's going on with this outfit? Your hair's a mess. That shirt is disgusting. When was the last time you called grandma? I don't understand why you don't want to hang out with your family anymore. You don't understand why? Can you sit up and speak up? I'm just going back to bed. Hey. Hey. What have you been doing in here? Just watching YouTube. All right. What are you watching? Makeup tutorials. Interesting. Mom, what are you doing? I'm just trying to tidy things up in here. Well, it looks like you're looking for something. Nope. Just trying to figure out the reason why you spend so much time in your room. And when was the last time you did your laundry? Like four days ago, I don't- I just don't understand how you're in here all day. Mom, can you please not go through all my stuff? Why? What are you hiding? Why don't you turn your computer screen around? <sighs> mm. You really should be doing homework. It's Saturday night and I finished all my homework. Why is it so dark? I don't know, I like it. Mm. Hey mom? Yes, sweetie? Have you seen my black hoodie that I always wear? The one with all the witch symbols on it? Yeah, that one. Oh no, what a cute sweater. You lost it? I guess so. I can't find it anywhere. Have you seen it? No, I haven't, but I'll keep an eye out. I can't find it anywhere. Oh. What is it doing in here? Uh, mom? Yes, sweetie. Do you know why my jacket was in the trash can? Wh the, the trash can? Whoa. That's weird. Yeah, it is weird. You know, I always thought we had a ghost in here. Did you throw away my hoodie? No, never. Maybe your sister did it. She's been away at college since before I got this. Very strange. Wow, dinner was awesome. Do we have anything for dessert? Uh, yeah, I actually just bought some fresh strawberries. Oh, I think you misheard me. I said dessert? Yeah, we can put some whipped cream on top of the strawberries. Whipped cream? Ew, no, I don't want fruit. I want cake. <laughs> okay, well, these are your options for dessert. All I'm saying is that you're not giving me real dessert options. And I'm telling you that you don't need cake and ice cream every night. I think you'll survive. Hey, mom. Over here. I've got to show you this picture that I just took. Let me see. No, I can hold it. Just, just look. Let me see it. it. I need it. I need it close. Mom, you don't need to hold it. Just look at the screen. Why won't you let me hold your phone? Because I just wanted to show you this one picture really fast. Well, you're being so secretive with it. Give it to me. Mom, here. Thank you. Mom, why are you scrolling? It was just the one picture. Who is this boy in your pictures? Mom, it's just my friend from school. Can I please have my phone back? Uh, excuse me. Who do you think's paying for this phone? You're lucky you even have one. You should consider it a privilege. Oh, crap. Mom. You have a Snapchat? No, no, no. Don't open Snapchat. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Hey, Mom, do you mind if I go hang out with Lexi later? 
Yeah, that's fine. She said 5.30 and that her mom can pick me up. Okay, sounds good. Oh. Hey, mom. Yes? Okay, so she said she's running behind, so they'll pick me up closer to 6. Okay. Oh, and she just texted me and asked if we can get dinner, too. And who all is going again? It's just gonna be me and Lexi and her sister, Danielle. Oh, you didn't tell me Danielle was going. Well, that's why when you just asked me, I, I told you. It just seems like your plans keep changing. I mean, I'm just trying to be honest about what I'm doing tonight. I don't know. I just don't have a good feeling about this. It seems weird. It's not weird. You know what? I don't like this. You're not gonna go tonight. What? It won't kill you to spend time with your family. Oh my God, Barbara, she just walked in. Let me let you go. Bill, she's here. Hang up with the police. What's going on? We have been worried sick. Do you want to tell us where you've been? Okay, mom, you told me I could go to Ryan's house as long as I was back by nine. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, it's 8.58. I should not have to text you three times to find out where you are. Yeah, okay, let's see that. You texted me 15 minutes ago saying, are you driving? If so, don't text and drive. Then you texted me five minutes ago saying, are you alive? And then three minutes ago saying, oh my God, I'm calling the cops. <sighs> I'm just getting so sick of you don't know what it's like to be a mom. I spent all my time worrying about you and you can't even text me back or come home by nine. It's still not even nine. Enough with the attitude. Hey mom, what are we having for dinner? Food. What kind of food? Uh, yummy food. What's it look like? Food. Okay, what category of food is it? It is the type of food that you eat. Okay. Never mind. Hey, can you go set the table? No, because I don't know what we're eating, so I don't know what to put on the table. You're grounded. Love talking to you. Hey mom, can I hang out with some of my friends on Friday night? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Awesome, and then on Saturday, Megan's having a sleepover birthday party, so I was wondering if I could go to that as well. Mm. What? I don't think you need to be out two nights in a row. That's just, mm -mm. I know, I just don't wanna bail on either of my friends. And I did all my homework. <sighs> well, am I supposed to come pick you up Sunday morning? Um, if you don't mind, I, I would appreciate that. Otherwise I could just walk. Okay, and all of a sudden your schedule is more important than my Sunday morning plans? What spontaneous Sunday morning plans do you suddenly have? This is the one weekend. You know, I don't like this habit you're getting into where you think you can just go out all weekend and I'll come pick you up and drive you around. I don't like when you put me in this position and you do this to me. What am I doing to you? Mom, can we get McDonald's for dinner? Um, could you go ask your father? Okay. Dad, can we get McDonald's? Sure, let me just get my wallet. Sweet, okay. Bye mom, we're leaving. Where are you going? McDonald's, dad said he'd take me. Oh, okay. What's wrong? Well, I had made dinner plans for us tonight, but I guess you guys are just gonna do your own thing, so I, I don't know. Oh, I didn't know you had something planned. You didn't say anything. Okay. Well, no, if, if you don't want us to go, then we're- No, 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 please, go, go. Hey, you ready to go? Yeah, you guys have fun. I appreciate the support from both of you. What? <sighs> She's mad because you said that we could go to McDonald's. I thought you said she said it was okay. It's fine, seriously, go. No, seriously, like we're- Go. Oh, hey, you. Hey. What you doing? I'm just hanging out, trying to listen to my music, so. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> what are you listening to? I don't know, just whatever's on shuffle, I guess, right now. <laughs> cool. Interesting. Okay. Who are you texting? What? I said, who are you texting? You need to turn that music down. Just people from school. Oh, well, excuse me for asking questions about a phone that I pay for. I just want to know why you're being so sneaky. Just take it. Mom, I'm not feeling very good. Uh-oh, do you need to go to the doctor? <sighs> yeah, I think so. All right, here's the phone. You can call and make an appointment. Just take the phone. You want me to call and make my own appointment? Yes, you're an adult. Please call. Well, what do I say? You tell them exactly what you just told me, that you're sick and you want to make an appointment. But what if they ask me what's wrong? Then you tell them what's wrong. But what if they ask me when I want to come in? Then you tell them when you want to come in. Uh, I don't know about this. I don't think I'm ready. I, I... You talk on the phone all the time. Yeah, through text. 
Oh my goodness. Well, if you want to see a doctor, you need to make the appointment. Okay, I'll just quarantine upstairs.